Hello and welcome to this video and Happy New Year to you because this will come out on the 2nd of January I believe whereas it is now the 29th of December for me. I believe I started essentially this video last year, the one that sort of leads up to New Year's in exactly the same jumper in exactly the same place doing pretty much the same thing because I am Sort of baking. I'm attempting to make short crust pastry today for our pie later on this evening. I have never made my own pastry. It seems like it would be simple, so I'm giving it a go. Could be a disaster, but I say that about everything I make. I have YouTube up here, which is why I'm getting distracted and looking over. So yeah, that's that's what we're up to today. The reason this jumper really, really needs a thing. Um, but today is very much a get everything sorted, we need to clean the flat, we've got all of the stuff from Christmas to put away because we came back yesterday. Our lateral flow tests were negative so we could have the Christmas we wanted so our plan B meal that I mentioned in the previous ones in the vlogmas -y kind of videos, we're planning on having that New Year's Eve so that should be in this video. All good, all good. I'm raring to go, rested, need to move more. Oh, we've done nearly 4,000 steps walking Jeff this morning so that's more than I've probably done in the past few days. But yeah, let's go. So I have 100 grams of butter in here and 225 grams of plain flour that I now need to rub together to make breadcrumbs. So I'm going to now become very messy and won't be able to use the camera. So I will come back to you at a decent point. So there we have it, my dough of pastry ready to go and be chilled. There was a moment where I didn't think it was going to come together in a dough, but it seems all right. Now we've just got to see how it works when we roll it and make a pie out of it. But part one, done. It's been some time, we've been rather productive, we've cleaned the flat, we've sorted the stuff out. We're now in pie manufacture stage. That's not the word I'm looking for, is it? Um, so the pastry was questionable when it came out of the fridge. Yeah, some big chunks of the... Uh, That's what I said to you. Um, if we can use our teeth. Um, but Pete has managed to get it to actually fit the tin. He even found some to make a lid. Whether it'll cook well, I don't know because I think I put too much water in it. Yeah, now that's gonna do what it has to do in the oven and hopefully we'll have something edible at the end of it. And there we go, finished product for us to try. What a difference a day makes, eh? I am not out, my hair is clean. You may not be able to hear me because I am in a mask, but I'm just waiting for my tube to take me to Leicester Square because I'm off to see Matilda today with Adam, my brother. Uh, he bought this for me for Christmas because he wanted a show that we can go and see straight away and he thought why not go for one of my favourites so this will actually be the third time I have seen Matilda it's actually going to be my most watched musical after today um, I have a few that are on two but this is my first three one I believe no I think I have a new cue it's just two possibly but yeah um, yeah, it should be good, good, good fun. Um, I obviously can't show you what I'm wearing. And here comes my tube, so off we go. So it has been a bit hit or miss whether the show's going to go ahead because, like everywhere, the West End's been ravaged by COVID. But Matilda's showing today, I checked the uh, tweet or they let everyone know at like 11 whether the shows are going ahead that day. We're on the mass and they saw at 2pm. So we know we're going ahead, which is good. I think part of the reason I like Matilda so much is the nostalgia I liked the film as a kid, but it also had some incredible songs that pop into my head on a regular basis. On our regular basis, even. Yeah. 
looking forward to it. Didn't think I was going to get to another show this year, so Adam has sorted that one out. I have booked some tickets for next year though. And I still need to do those tickets that come from away for my parents, which is why I'm putting it here so I remember to do it. But I've forgotten what Saturdays they can do, so I need to double check that again. But you don't need to know any of that, that's just for me to remember because I keep forgetting. I am now going to uh, get my book out, my new book sleeve, and read that until we get to Leicester Square. I looked at the bookshelf, disappointing. It was mainly parenting books, which were parenting books that looked kind of dodgy anyway. So nothing for me to take. Right. Catch you at the theatre. I'm supposed to say something. If you want to say something. Uh, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. It's so very festive. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm good at words today. So I am back home from Matilda. It was a lot of fun, as always, as I said. I like that show a lot. I think they need to curb some of the stuff they sell in theatres because the rustling is really really aggravating and I had a lot of restless children kicking me in the back all the side but I ignored them because I was enjoying the show mainly I came on because of this it's... Jeff is uh, like proper sleeping are you uncomfortable now? <laughs> um, and he's been like this for a little while. And Pete also went out today. Matrix is awful. That is his review. Like, I, I thought I went into it knowing the reviews were bad, thinking I'll probably still enjoy it anyway because it's the Matrix. But it's just the storyline was dreadful. <laughs> um. He has now decided that the camera's out so he better not act like a snoozy boy. You awake, Jeff? You awake, Jeff? There's the dog nose for you. Forgot to add, there were several bits in that show I'd forgotten about, so always worth seeing shows more than once, like you would a film. It's just a bit more difficult in a theatre show. And thank you, Adam, for my Christmas present. Good morning, Happy New Year! It's the 31st of December and yes, I am out and about once again. Today I'm heading up to our high street to do a little spot of shopping. Every year since I can... my early teens I guess, when I used to go with friends after Christmas I've gone and had a little splurge. Normally on clothes. This year I'm doing it a bit differently. I'm mainly focusing on charity shops and books, mainly. Um, because I don't need clothes. I'm trying to be, you know, what's the word someone said today? Shop from my own wardrobe. I don't need really anything new. There is a H&M, so I am going to go in, so I might get something new. But it's not the focus on this trip. Whereas books are, even though I don't need those either. So I'm heading my way to the high street. Hopefully I've made it so I can get on a bus rather than walking up that hill. But if I have to walk up that hill, it'll be good for that Christmas indulgence. Because I have a wedding dress that I am not allowed to lose or gain weight for. So maintain. Maintain is the focus. Has anyone else got that for a New Year's resolution? Aren't you normally supposed to lose weight? Uh, not supposed to, but you know what I mean. That's where we're heading. Probably won't show you around the high street. Um, but when I come home, depending on what we're doing, I think I'm going to do a separate book haul video because I got a lot for Christmas. And, you know, 
hopefully going to get a few today. So I think I'll do a separate one of those anyway, because I know not everybody's that interested in books on this channel, but there's a whole book community on YouTube that might be, so I'll do it that way, but other bits I can show you. Right, I need to see when this bus is coming, so I'll see you in a minute. I've been back a little while, just had some lunch. I didn't go mad on the high street, I bought a big bit of black card because when we got the flat decorated they took down the bit of black card that was covering the stupid window that's above the door in the bedroom. Why do the doors need windows? Never know. From H&M we got a black headband. I guess I wear them a lot but mine has a big knuckle on it and a belt exciting I know and that's the book haul five books six pound not too shabby I think so yeah not too crazy I might uh, have a little little gander online but pretty oh dear happy with how the day has gone we're having a quiet New Year's Eve today this year we were invited to someone's house for a small gathering but it was just such a faff to get back thank you so as i mentioned earlier we're having the dinner we were going to have on christmas if we ended up being in our flat if that makes sense which is a lamb shank with accompaniment if we had it on christmas we would have done a few more veg and a roasties but somebody was faffing with the computer so yeah, i've done it pretty well i didn't say you hadn't done it well yeah just saying that's why it wasn't the meal that we would have had on christmas yeah oh and we start, plenty of food over christmas. starting now so is pete he's just hidden his beer bon appetit cheers and for pudding we've got the chocolate is it a brookie or a brocky you come up with this word. So. I haven't, it's on the box. <laughs> uh, which is cookie on the bottom, brownie on the top. Pete's still getting frustrated by his computer, so he's all huffy puffy at me. Why well, yeah, you? Well, better. in general, <laughs> but now directed at me. Just barking his head off as well. Oh yeah, and there's been fireworks, so <laughs> somebody's <laughs> been a bit noisy. So when I said a quiet New Year's, I didn't quite expect to just be sat here by myself all day. It is now half ten. Pete is still not with me. Because this is what he's been doing while I've been sat on my own. I'm so close to being finished, I'm sorry. He's been doing this since about three o'clock today. I've cooked a meal and eaten in the middle. Not really, not, not really. So my New Year's has been finishing a book and flicking between the TV channels. He's turned up now. And yeah, I think I finished it. I haven't, I haven't dared try to turn it on yet though. <laughs> what have you just dropped? <laughs> happy New Year. Happy New Year. Or Happy New Year if you're doing it properly. Have I made up for being late? No. You seem happier now. I've made up for it. I've drunk a couple of drinks. I've made up for it. Jeff went into the new year how he left the old year. You had a stressful night, Jeff. Happy 1st of January. It is the one day of the year where I make Pete get up and walk the dog with me. That being said, it is 10 o'clock, so it's not exactly early. But yeah, that's what I do. So we can go for a nice long walk in the morning and then we don't have to do much for the rest of the day. Which is ideal. Right. So we're going to go for a walk in the woods this morning with Mr. Jeff. Let's see whether the day takes us. Anyway, I need some hands to be able to sort this out. So. so the food last night was nice. Very nice. Uh, both bits, and I didn't never mentioned about the uh, pastry. It worked out fine. It just was a bit sweet. Tasted more like a shortbread than a pastry. But the pie was good, though. Huh? It was good. It was a nice pie. 
I mean, the filling's always nice. It's like a standard filling. And the pastry was just a little bit odd. I've also spent the morning buying wellies because of that giant hole. So I'm expecting wet feet on this walk. And now my sock's fallen down, so I need to pull that up. It's all going well. Spot the Jeff. Jeff's exploring again. into case. <laughs> it's time to go. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this video here so that I have time to actually edit it and get it up for you tomorrow, which is the second when this is live, obviously. We obviously need to walk back, give Jeff a shower. We might look at our photo book, which I have done a video about before, so I'll link that up there if you fancy seeing it. But basically it's a chilled rest of the day for us. Um, we are not doing our normal New Year's Day tradition of having a KFC. Neither of us thought about it when we meal planned. We're not doing that, but that, that's probably a good thing. So yeah, hope you've had a good New Year's. Welcome to 2022 the year of big change for me and this one here um, so click that subscribe button because all sorts of things are going to be happening hopefully certainly a wedding that shouldn't not happen unless he suddenly decides he doesn't want to marry me Wait, <laughs> um, so on that note if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Just to add that won't happen, so I won't decide to not marry her, not that the wedding won't happen. But anyway, <laughs> give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you for New Year content next week. <laughs>